Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today we're going to be creating this. So what you want to do is firstly import your files. Okay, so here we have this file and then we just want to drag it onto this um, icon down here to create it into a new comp from that video. Uh, so now that we've got this video, um, I'll just start it at here. So if we just hit Alt left bracket, it'll start it there. And if we go to the start and just hit left bracket, then it'll bring it to there. Um, so we'll just scroll through and what we'll do then after that is we will find the finishing point. So it'll probably be around there and we'll hit Alt right bracket. And then we can just hit N to make the work area go to that point. So now we've got that, what we want to do is just scroll through it. And um, here we have this um, ping pong that's going to be freezing in place. So you just want to find a good sort of position that um, has the full sort of object. So here you can see that it's quite blurry. Um, so we'll just zoom in and find a good frame for that. Um, so here we have me like putting out my arm to make it stop. So we'll probably stop it about there. It looks pretty um, intact. So now with that what we want to do is just we'll just scroll out. And what we want to do is just select this layer and we will hit control D to duplicate that layer. And then what we'll do is we'll hit alt left bracket. So now we've got that, we've got this layer which is just this uh, ping pong ball. So now with this layer selected, we just want to go to um, the ellipse tool. And then what we're going to be doing is creating a mask around the thing that you're freezing. So obviously you can use the pen tool, which is just right here. If you're, um, say, freezing a person that's um, walking by or something or anything else. Um, but we'll just use this. Okay. So we'll just click and drag and make that nice circle. So now with this we might just um, double click it and then we'll just make it a bit smaller and then with that so you see how it's not the whole ping pong. So then if we just go down here into the mask and then if we just select it and hit F then it'll bring up the mask feather property and if we just sort of look we can see that it's roughly maybe 2 pixels so we'll just set that mask feather to 2 pixels and we might just set it for 3 for good luck. So now that we've got that, what we want to do is just um, with this cursor still in the right time, we'll just right click this and then we'll go to time and we'll go freeze frame. So now what that'll do is it's uh, sort of bending the time to make that frozen. So here we have this um, goal, uh, the ping pong ball sorry, and it's frozen and you can still see this ping pong ball from the underlying layer that's here. So with this, what we then want to do uh, just to make it a lot easier, what we might do is um, we'll just hit Control D with this uh, bottom layer. So what we might do is just firstly um, rename these. So we have the ping pong frozen. Here we have the background or the uh, main layer sort of. And here we are. What we are going to name this is we are going to name it main layer after freeze. So now with that, what we want to do is we'll just go at the same point, we'll just hit Alt right bracket for the main layer and hit Alt left bracket for the secondary layer. So here we have this, I don't know why that happened, but that looks good. So now with this main layer after freeze, what we want to do is we'll just create a mask. So with this mask, we want it to change quite a bit, so we will use the pen tool. And with this pen tool, what I find works pretty well is if you actually mask around objects that are here so instead of um so instead of just masking a straight line where the arm is and such it uh find that it works better if you just go around and just take that little bit of time just to draw around here because the lighting will be slightly different um it does help quite a bit with that too, not even if 
the lighting isn't quite perfect it won't make too much stand out so then obviously here we're just going to have to um, go up so we might just go up to here and we'll just go around here just around that little part so it just sort of all flows together even if the lighting isn't quite right but afterwards we will um, change adjustments with the layer that will be going here so with this um, what we can do is um, we'll just scroll through here the whole video and we'll find a point where we can use the background so like here we have the backgrounds so obviously you could find a part that has a um, actually clean slate if you record that bit um, or you can just find a bit that has that empty part that you need so with here what we might do is again we'll just hit Control D so I'll just duplicate that layer and we'll just rename this by hitting enter we'll just call it background so with this background layer what we want to do is hit right click and we will just go to time and freeze frame again so again it's just freezing at that frame to the left and to the right so if we just solo this layer we can see it's only that frame so now anything that isn't quite covered in the mask will um, be completely fine so now if you look here um, oh, we need to firstly just make that a bit longer so if we just do that now we can see that it actually has the background uh, so you might see here it's got that little bit of hand so what we might do is um, just go into this main layer after freeze and we can just bring that in just like that um, so especially with this we want the masking to be quite precise around here because um, in the footage it does actually fall underneath so we want to make sure that that's not shown um, so now with here we can see a bit easier of what's actually being shown so we might just bring that little point up a bit so you can see it's quite um, easy to distinguish where the points are and how they need to be moved so like if you look around here, like even if you didn't change it, so say you just cropped out this bit, you wouldn't even know that this is from a different file of this. So we'll just leave that for now and we'll keep going. So now what we have is me walking around and then it gets into this little bit. So then with this main layer freeze, what we want to do is hit M and then we'll also bring up the mask path for the mask. And we just want to keyframe it. So right, you also want to be careful of um, shadows behind, so we'll just keyframe it there. So we might just move forward just one frame, um, because it always works better if it's just one frame and it doesn't like gradually just move. And what we'll do is we'll just drag each point to the outside. Okay, so now we've got that, it looks pretty cool. So you might notice it does look a bit jittery from each frame as it's got that slight lighting difference. Um, so obviously like... um we've got windows here um, so that's made it slightly harder to get the same lighting but say if you're in a room where it's just the only light is from the actual room it is a lot easier to get the same sort of um, uh, lighting so now we can see that I actually walk around and I'm actually looking at the ping pong so that looks pretty cool and because of this object um, the sort of type of object it is it wouldn't actually put out a shadow because it's just so small and the fact that the shadows are only really uh, visible when it's a slightly bigger object so we don't need to worry about a shadow for something like this but you can put on a shadow if you really want to so now we have that and then we want to go to a point where I've um, unfreezed it and so right on that snap and um, doesn't ma matter about the background anymore because that's all good and then what we want to do is get the main layer and we'll just duplicate that so if we hit control D and we'll just hit enter and we will write main layer or uh, ping pong after freeze so now what we can do with that we can just hit the right bracket so we'll make the finish of the clip um, at that point so now what we'll see is if we um, open it up we won't um, see anything just yet but it's actually um, 
that. So what we'll do is we'll bring the main layer underneath that unfreeze. And then we'll go into the main layer freeze and we'll hit M. And then with that mask path, what we want to do is um put the mask sort of back into that position that we had it in. So an easy way to do that is just to look through. We can find the keyframe here if we just select it and hit Control C. And then if we scroll back, make sure that the cursor is in that position. And if we just hit Control V, then it'll set it to there. And um, obviously, uh, you also want to take that same keyframe that should be, or else it would um, slowly move into that position. Okay. So now we have that, and then we can see that the ball actually falls after that. Uh, but that ping pong is still there. So what we can do is um, just find that spot where it unfreezes. And we can just hit alt right bracket to finish that clip there. And we'll just do that. And then what we can see is actually a double up of a layer. So you can see it's not quite, uh, if you look, it's sort of staying in that position for about three frames. So what we can do there is just bring in that main layer. We'll just bring it about three frames. So now to go up, I just bring it back one. There we go. So now I've got that, and again we're have to gonna have to play with the lighting of that. Okay, so we'll just bring that out slightly further. So it's got that little bounce, and that's good. So now, obviously, this part does not look very good. Uh, so an easy way to fix that is just to go through uh, effects on the videos. Uh, it's not really an easy way as such, but if you just look at this, and you go into effect, and I find that um, in color correction, the levels works quite well. So if you just look through, and here's levels here. Uh, so then what you can do is uh, you can choose RGB or if there's any specific colors but pretty much on the RGB bringing this in will make any uh, lights become darker or if you pull in from the right it will make any darkens or any dark spots become lighter. So now you can see is this um, it looks like really really good right there but uh, slightly not quite right up there. So an easy way to fix that really is just to go into that path that we have and if we just go into that mask and we just go to feather and if we just feather it about maybe uh, three pixels um, maybe a bit more that definitely hides it much better okay. just got to watch to see if like the video here actually changes color at all um, so we can see that um, the couch over here has actually dramatically changed colour. So with this levels what we can actually do uh, for the background we can actually create a mask. So say if we just go from say here, here, here and then if we actually mask around the couch so we don't actually apply colour to the couch um, so we've got that and so now we're just creating a mask th of the objects and so obviously it doesn't matter for around oh, for around here because um, this is already covered so it can be quite just cut sort of so with that with the background now what we see is uh, oh that doesn't look quite right so uh, firstly here we just gotta fix it cool and um, obviously the couch is in there so an easy way to fix that is just to duplicate the background. So now I've got a background too. And then if we can just delete these levels and then on the background we can just hit M and we can just delete that mask. So now what we have is all of this looking very nice and the couch still staying with colour, with the right colour. And um, so like here uh, the colour isn't quite right. Um, like if you watch the couch it does actually um, change quite darker I mean you can go into this and then apply levels and um, yeah 
but it's sort of customizable to whatever works for you and um obviously you're not going to have the same setup as me you might have like amazing lighting and you're not even going to need to do any of that stuff and that would be pretty good uh but yeah so now what we have here is this also isn't quite right so now we have this little main layer to which i thought we named to ping pong after freeze but so we didn't so we can just go through and do the same things but i'm not going to do that not to bore you but um so yeah that's pretty much the tutorial so um you can use this on pretty much anything like i've used a ping pong ball um you can also make it uh say you're crossing a road and there's a car and it's about to hit you and you freeze it or um say there's someone walking or it could be like a massive crowd that's walking and you could even uh shoot the shot in public except it would be a lot harder because you need to make um possibly rotoscopes around your subject um but that could potentially work so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you're able to make your own sort of time freeze for yourself I'll see you in the next one.